How much chemistry can we do with just one lemon? We'll find out. Do you know that lemon peels contain a flammable substance? Safety goggles on. I'm gonna light up my candle. Let me show you how you can make a mini fireball. So you're gonna aim your lemon peel at the candle itself and you're gonna observe whoo, for a little fireball here. Okay, so as you squeeze your lemon peel, okay, what is gonna happen is it's gonna release this compound known as limonene. Okay, limonene is a hydrocarbon and this demonstration illustrates the flammable properties of hydrocarbon. You will observe a lot of black soot or smoke that comes along when the limonene undergoes combustion. Being a hydrocarbon, it is flammable, but limonene has many carbons, so it requires lots of oxygen to undergo complete combustion. And when there is incomplete combustion, that's where you observe the formation of soot as one of the products. So this is quite an eye-catching demonstration to illustrate the inflammable property of organic compounds. You know the saying that goes, never put your lemons near balloons? So likewise, we're going to aim our lemon peel at the balloon itself and just give it a good squeeze. Okay? The trick is to get it as concentrated as possible. Okay, so the trick is to get it as concentrated as possible on just one tiny spot of the balloon. So what happens is when you squeeze the lemon, likewise, it releases limonene, which is a hydrocarbon. And you know that hydrocarbons themselves are not very soluble in water. In fact, they dissolve well in organic solvents or other organic compounds. So balloon is made of rubber, and rubber is itself is also an organic molecule. Okay, so the, the oils or the limonene in the lemon actually helps to dissolve the rubber in the balloon and making a hole in it that causes it to burst. Oh wait, what am I going to do with all the lemon juice if I've used up all my lemon peel? So one more thing you could do is to make your own invisible ink using lemon juice. So do you know that lemon juice can erase the ink from the highlighter? So specifically, if you were to apply the lemon juice over the highlighter ink, it magically removes it. What's going on? So highlighter ink actually contains an acid-base indicator known as pyranin, which is colorless in acidic solutions and this bright yellow in alkaline solutions. So lemon juice being acidic in nature would cause the highlighter ink to turn colorless. So we could do something more dramatic. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to extract out more of the ink. So I'm just going to color the base of my beaker. And then I'm just going to pour in some of this lemon juice. Notice how it immediately turns colorless. Alright, now we have our very own invisible ink. I'm just going to take some of it and just make a drawing on my watercolor paper. As you can see, the image is quite unnoticeable. Uh, it's still visible under UV light. Okay, you can actually see. Okay, now what I'm going to do is to take a cotton swab, soak it in some sodium carbonate. So just going to rub it over. And watch how the drawing kind of comes back. Let me know how many more experiments you can think of using a lemon. And the next time life gives you lemons, well, it's time for some science. I'm Mr. Jensen Tan. If you enjoyed what you watched today, do follow me on my Instagram page as well as my YouTube channel. Remember to stay curious, always question, always wonder. See you in the next video.